Inside this box is a revolutionary device. A device that will force an entire industry to rethink the way embedded intelligence is created and deployed. Introducing the... Oh, snap! It was right here and now I... Uh, let's see. Uh, could it be... Uh, uh, I was eating jelly beans. No, no. Uh, but I had these paper clips. Wait, wait a minute. Maybe it's in... Oh, here it is. This is what I wanted to show you. The Max 32625 Pico board. All right, I know it doesn't look like much, but it just may change the way you think about prototyping a system that needs an embedded microcontroller. It's really two boards in one. It can be used as a standalone embedded development platform, or it can be used as a debug adapter for a larger system. Here's what you get on the Pico board. Right in the middle of the board is a Max 32625 ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller with floating point math. It's a fast, powerful, low power micro with a lot of peripherals. On the left is a micro USB connector with a status indicator close by, and on the right is an ARM compatible single wire debug connector. The Pico board comes preloaded with MaxDAP debugging firmware, and if you're using the Pico board as a debug adapter, that's all you really need. Just connect a ribbon cable between the debug connector on the Pico board and the connector on your target board, and plug a micro USB cable from the Pico board to your PC, and you're ready to go. You get the debug console, a drag and drop loader, and a CMSYS DAP compatible debug interface, and all of that comes over the USB cable. But the Pico is much more than just a pretty debug interface. It's a complete development system, including a UART, a Spy Master, a Spy Slave, an I2C interface, a one wire interface, and four analog inputs. And of course, your application can use our USB frameworks to expose USB endpoints to the attached PC. Loading software onto the Pico board is easy. You see that button next to the USB cable? Hold that down while you plug in the USB connector and the status indicator will glow bright white. On your computer, you'll see a new drive called Maintenance. You can drag and drop new binary files to this drive and the Pico board will run them. But where do you get the binary files? Well, one place would be to create them in Embed. In Embed, you'll find an integrated development environment, a cloud-based compiler, and a library of thousands of compatible programs. Just install support for the Pico board, pick your program, and hit Compile. When the program is finished compiling, Embed will drop a binary file into your Downloads folder. Now the fun begins. Just drag the binary file to the maintenance drive, and the program will load onto your Pico board and begin running. That's it. Now, every time you power up the Pico, it'll run your program. Oh, you, you want to use the Pico board as a debug adapter again? Well, no problem. Just drag the DAPLink binary to the maintenance drive, and the Pico is once again a max DAP debug adapter. Now, look again at the Pico board. See the holes along the edge of the board? They're spaced a standard tenth inch, and the rows are exactly a half inch apart. That means you can put standard SIP headers into the rows and use the Pico board as though it's a standard through-hole component. Want more? Check out the bottom of the board. Notice we didn't put any components on the bottom of the board. And notice also that the hole pad goes all the way to the board edge. That means you can use the Pico board as a surface mount component if you want to. Now think about that. You can drop a Pico board onto your prototype and you get a USB interface back to your PC along with all the I.O. you need. You also get a power management IC that regulates the 5 volts from the USB connector down to 3.3 and 1.8 volts. The Pico board can be the heart of your low power system. Just go to the web address on your screen to learn more about the Pico board and all of Maxim's low power microcontrollers. And stay tuned for more videos about how to get the most out of Maxim's microcontrollers. See you next time!